blood in my blood too. A predator smells fear, and I smell a lot. My competitors fled scared, but they smelled I was hot. I want it all in excess. The sex and much success. Stress sucks. I want it all, no less. So come on. Reprehensible display of moral depravity have I ever seen in my life. And I'm not just talking about that video that we just had to bear witness to. I'm talking about Jay Crack as an individual. This man is reprehensible. He almost got us kicked off the air several times with his sick and twisted allegations that he has placed on Daniel Mars throughout the previous weeks. And yes, I know that Jay Crack is in the ring right now, and I know that he is spewing his mouth, but you know what? I have muted the audio because we cannot have another complaint on the YWF on behalf of such disgusting behavior. Now, while he runs his mouth to this live crowd, I've just got to let you guys know, we do not condone anything that this man says, just for the record. Ladies and gentlemen, our next CPV Anarchy Rules is coming up. Our very next show, live in Compton, California, it's gonna be off the chain. That reprehensible retrograde J. Crack will be taking on the ex-elite champion, Daniel Mars. It will be for the championship, and it will be a ladder match. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like J. Crack is wrapping up his insane tirade. So let's get back to the ring. Wait a minute, Daniel, Daniel Mars is on his way. He's hurt enough and he's gonna shut him up. And they're fighting, they're fighting up the entrance ramp, punching left and right, back and forth. This feud has gotten so crazy we can't even air half of the footage. It is a blood feud. 
Jay Crack needs psychological help or he needs to be institutionalized. He just smashed his head right into that box and oh no. Daniel, I know you're pissed and he deserves it, but you just can't. Oh! He just powerbombed him and no, that's going too far, Daniel. Don't do it. Oh shit. My God, he flew right off the top. Daniel Mars, I can't believe what he has just done. Was it warranted? Yes, was it justified? Oh, you better believe it. But, Daniel Mars, was it worth it? You're gonna hurt yourself. How far are you gonna go? I'll try to calm down. Ladies and gentlemen, up next, we got a debuting superstar. A new women's wrestler. Her name is Clarice. And let's go backstage as she prepares for her match. Wait. Hmm. So you're the new girl in the YWF. I don't like this. See, listen, listen, listen. Just hear me out for a second. See, I see it in you. I see that potential. I mean, you're obviously talented. See you doing some good things in the YWF. Think you got what it takes? Well, you'll just have to prove yourself to me now, won't you? I don't like it. I don't like it. Clarice talking with AM Punk. It makes me a little bit physically ill. And it looks like Clarice is getting a shot here in the YWF, all thanks to AM Punk and his new scouting service, I guess. And she's coming to the ring. Look at those colors there. She's rocking the purple and the teal. I must say that those colors are fucking fabulous. And trust me, I would know. But it seems that there's a lot of things that AM Punk sees in this lady. Let's see if she will be. Competition for the former women's champion, Chester. What a fireworks display there. And your opponent, Chester. And there she comes! She's rocking it out! And she's rocking it out in the pink, black, and white! Chester, skipping to the ring, doesn't look like she gives two flying fucks about her new opponent here. I mean, we're talking about a former women's champion! She's been to the dance, and she has danced to the top! And now... Taking on some fresh, new talent. Let's see how she holds up. And there's the bell. And Chest, oh Chester, straight to the ground. It looks like Clarice is coming with a full head of steam and slamming Chester straight to the ground. I think Chester might have underestimated this, this young new lady, oh wait. Oh, that bulldog with such force. Those tight ropes. They're strung so very tight for 250 pound men to bounce off of. And she used all of that momentum to take her down. And Clarice, again, taking Chester straight to the ground. Come on, Chester, you gotta fight back. And right now, Chester firing back and shoving her right into the corner. And watch this. Oh wait, she tricked her there into a Hurricane Rana. It seems to work every time. Oh, a spinning hell. And she blocks, oh, and she decks her right down to the ground. Chester might be in some trouble here as she gets tossed into the ropes. And again, Chester taken down. This is stiff competition. Oh, 
A single leg takedown, the dragon screw, if you will, and a stiff kick to the spinal column area. The referee allowing a lot of physicality between these two ladies and a back draw right on her spine, her injured spine, and back to the top, then back of her neck right there, her whole spine. But she's still standing. I don't know how she's doing it, and she's gonna be taking it. Look at this, a little payback. Taste of your own medicine, if you will, and a kick right into the head. She's gonna knock the, that Fohawk right back down. And a bulldog. Chester, some stiff shots with those high laced converses she has. And right to the knee. I bet Clarice is now wishing that she had some knee pads after that one. And there's no protection against the spine there. Chester. Throwing her into the rubs. Oh, wait! A reversal! She's not done! Clarice still has fight in her as she slams Chester to the ground. Come on, Chester. I know you have it in you. Oh, wait! Come on! That's not even right. That's not right, and these fans don't appreciate such unsportsmanship that Clarice is displaying at this particular moment. And a sweet, quick, and fat arm drag. Oh, Chester just hit her finisher there. It's got to be over now. And it is. Chester coming away with the victory. Corey's put up a hell of a fight, but it was not enough going against Chester. Chester victorious here tonight. I wonder if AM Punk will be able to find a formidable opponent for his good friend Chester. We'll just have to wait and see. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. It's been a while since I've said anything, but it seems as though Mike McGregor hasn't figured it out yet. Come, YWF Anarchy Rules, I challenge you once again to put your Global Cross Brand Championship on the line against me. Except this time, I want it to be a bit different. I want there to be no members of Ravishing Inc. even near the proximity of that ring. And if they are, I will give them the beating of a lifetime that will be just a, a cakewalk compared to the beating I will give you if they show up, McGregor. This has gone too far. I know you're on Explosion now and I am on Mayhem, but you see, that cross-brand label on your championship means that I can still face you for that title and I can still beat you for that title. At Cyberslam, I was robbed, and now I will take what is rightfully mine again. So, at Anarchy Rules, be ready, because I will be the global champion, because I am the master of darkness and the ruler of the world, and you, my friend McGregor, are in for the ass-whooping of a lifetime. Trust me. Ladies and gentlemen, up next, we got Anthony Ace, who has a thing or two to say about AM Punk. And here he comes, Anthony Ace, who will be, wait, oh, damn it, there's AM Punk attacking the man from behind. These two men are supposed to have a match at Anarchy Rules, and Damn it! AM Punk just blindsided the man! But Anthony Ace! Get him with that! Oh shit! These men are fighting on the rampway! Oh no! 
and he kicks him right in the back of the head. Anthony Ace is bleeding. He is hurt. I mean, that is a steel cage. It is like landing on a cheese grater. And oh, great. There's Chester out there with AM Punk. They're best friends, but damn it, Chester, you could choose your friends a little bit more wisely. I mean, can't you see what a piece of crap this man is? He's attacking Anthony Ace for no damn reason. Oh, God, the code breaker. They got a match at Anarchy Rules, and oh, God. And AM Punk celebrating like he just won the championship. Like he just won a match against Anthony Ace at Anarchy Rules. But guess what? This was no damn match. And the, oh God, the referee, he's checking on Anthony Ace. I think Anthony Ace is hurt. He looks hurt bad. And, and AM Punk is celebrating. This, uh, this, this, this is disgusting. Hey, Meng. Last mayhem, I took another step in the goal of Ravishing Inc. by beating the holy hell out of that ugly-ass truck driver Mudflap Jennings. Gave him the Colfax Edge, and he was done just like that. But it looks like we still have another disgusting Pengetto to deal with. Gilmore, you want to attack me after my match? You want revenge for me making the most out of your lackluster debut, Chico? Simple. Next CPV... We have anarchy rules. Sounds like home for an extreme piece of crap like you. As soon as you came here the YWF, the moment everyone remembered was when I put your carcass at the announcer's table, Chica. And I feel like doing it yet again. Here's what I want, man. The ugliest man to have ever stepped foot in the YWF ring, Gilmore. Against the most ravishing man on Mayhem today, Sonny Colfax. In a tables match. You say you're not done with me? Well, I'm not done with you by a long shot, Chica. It will be my pleasure to not only put you through the table again, but as a part of Ravishing Inc., finally rid mayhem of its ugliness, starting with the ugliest man of them all. See you in Anarchy, Chica. Some stiff words from Sonny Koufax, the man that is going to be taking on this man right here, Gilmore at Anarchy Rules and a tables match. That's going to be extreme for sure, but this man right here, Gilmore, promises to be the man to put him through the table. He is all about that hardcore style, that extreme style so will he prove himself at anarchy rules we can only wait to find out but here tonight Gilmore goes in one on one action here looking to prove himself worthy oh yeah he will be taking on one half of the tag team champions, Brian Money White, BMW. <laughs> Brian Money White has got a match of his own. Him and his tag team partner, DT Money, will be taking on Extreme Caliber in match number three of their best of five series. And that. I can only imagine will be one hell of a match. But here tonight, it's one-on-one -on -one action. And he's juking, and he's jiving, and he's dancing. And it looks like he's ready. I'm not too sure how he will fare in one-on-one -on -one competition, but I know one thing. He's a hell of a tag team wrestler because he's got the gold. And this match is underway. Gilmore coming with a low shot and he's punching, but Brian Money White, he comes in with that wrestling technique and just cuts that brawling style off. And I think that's what Gilmore was waiting for. He was 
expecting to come into this match and just beat him up. But look at Brian Money White using that technique. And oh, damn, it's hard. To, oh, shit. He just went flying out of the ring and he missed landing on the back of his head. That has got to hurt. These are two styles that are clashing right here, right now. The brawling style of Gilmore and the wrestling technique of this man, Brian Money White. Oh no, don't, what? Oh, he got it that time. That is some calculated risk. I don't know if if it's just luck or just pure insanity, but jumping around, flying through the air, don't do it again! Oh, sh he, oh, he didn't do it. Hey, Gilmore better watch out because he will have one hell of a short career here. I mean, the man just debuted at the Super Show. He's only had one damn match. This is his second match, his first one-on-one, -on -one, and he's going in here full bore, looking to impress and looking to devastate and destroy. And I just don't know how smart that is. He just got kicked in the face. It seems that Sonny Koufax definitely has a, a problem with... Gilmore's face, oh, but it might be rearranged after this match. Oh, man, what a move there, and what is this? Oh, he got some serious air on that standing elbow drop right there. But I haven't seen, surprisingly enough, Brian Money White go after some submission moves. I mean, it's like the man's forte, and oh, knocking those, oh, he just got a low kick and a swinging neck breaker. And now, Brian Money White shot across the ropes and oh my goodness, what technique from Gilmore. Oh my God, but that arm drag just cut him off. Just cut him off. And now these men grappling and what has he got? He's going for a suplex. Oh man. Brain busted him right on top of his head, and he's picking Brian Money White up. He's he's got a choke. He's oh, that, that did not last very long. I'm surprised to see that Brian Money had to been cut. Surprised for sure, but oh, I thought that was gonna be the end of it right there. But it was wait one no. And now. Gilmore, holy crap, he just kicked him in the back of the head, and what is this? Oh my god, but Brian Money's up, and he's back down, come on Brian, I know you got it in you, but it doesn't seem like he was ready for the match he's got here tonight. And now it looks, oh man, oh no, he is bleeding. Brian Money is bleeding here in the ring, and oh, he's got Gilmore down. And there, oh wait, what is this? Oh no! Both men to the outside, Gilmore put his body on the line. And like I mentioned before, I don't know how smart it is, how, how it's going to impact the longevity of his career but it seems to be damn sure effective in this match as Gilmore has been on top for the majority now I see Brian he's getting the second wind and he's pissed he's stiff shots right to the back of Gilmore oh no but Gilmore's getting extreme he's got the steps this is not a no disqualification match don't get yourself disqualified for no reason he's going somewhere suplex not on the stairs oh no oh my god and, and that frog splash one two three oh man he suplexed Brian Money White on those stairs he didn't hit him with it, so I guess technically the referee let that one slide, but if you thought that was crazy, just wait, because Gilmore and Sonny Koufax will be squaring off in a tables match. Oh, the humanity.
And now it's time for the main event. Here comes the ex-elite champion, Daniel Mars, who I am surprised is still able to walk after jumping on J-Crack off of the stage. But this man holds the ex-elite championship for a damn reason. And you just saw why earlier. And at Anarchy Rules, in a ladder match, taking on J-Crack with that belt hanging 20 feet in the air oh Daniel Mars he's proven himself Oh, Daniel Mars, you already know this man is gonna get it and the YWF is all about giving young superstars a chance. And this man right here, Suicide Dan, is coming to the ring to take on Daniel Mars. And it looks like by judging by his uh, tattoos that he's pretty self-explanatory. But we'll see how it translates to in-ring competition. The man's got a gun pointed to his head at all times. And now this match is underway. Suicide Dan, oh, a kick right in the nose of Daniel Mars and he, he sweeps him and he's telling him to get the fuck back up. Suicide Dan with a hell of a lot of confidence just Look at that, just knocking Daniel Mars down. And now he's got him again. He's going to toss that man to the outside. And he, oh, he got low bridge. He was going to spear him, but it just didn't happen for Suicide Dan. And now Daniel Mars fighting on the outside. And this is not an X Elite Championship match where falls count anywhere. Oh, no. This is, oh, but it's just as damn brutal as... Daniel Ma oh no! Oh, this is suicide! And he hit him. He got him. Oh, he sure did. Oh, come on, Daniel. You don't let this rookie defeat you like this. Oh! Right outside! I wonder if Daniel Mars is starting to question whether he should have done what he did! Oh, earlier with Jay Crack, but he just flew in the air and... Oh my goodness, a standing moonsault. And now, he's got him by the arm. He's got him from behind and... Oh, he just dumps him right on his face. And Suicide Dan is a little dazed. And now he's a little bit down. Getting d impressed into that ring. And now... Oh, a kick to the back of the head. That will take you out for good. Oh, my goodness. Don't you listen to him, Dan. Oh, my God. He got kicked in the face. And now it looks like Daniel Mars. Oh, right on the elbow. That cannot feel good. But Dan's back up, and Mars is going across the ring, sailing from corner to corner. He goes for a kick, but misses it, but he doesn't miss that one. He got all of it. He got every single bit of it, and now Suicide Dan going to the top. Oh. Oh, he got him. He got him right there. He, I think he's going for a pin. No, he's not. He wants to inflict... Wait, oh, the referee, he almost got hit, but he just cross bodied him. Now he's on the top, and oh my God, what the hell just happened? Daniel Mars took him out for damn sure. That was so quick, I couldn't even see it. And now, Daniel Mars picking the man back up, tossing him across the ring. What's this gonna be? Oh, shit! He took him right down to the ground, and now, a switch into the corner and Mars he's going up and he came right down like a shooting star a comet an asteroid and I just 
belts him in the back of the head like he was running through a meteor shower. And now Mars, he's up. Oh shit. He missed it, and I think this might cost him. It might cost him everything here in this main event of mayhem because he's going for that gut wrench. Oh, no, right on his face. Now he's going to the top, gonna fly. Oh, he got him. A 360 splash in the center of the ring, and that's it. No. Oh no, Daniel Mars is still, he's still going. I don't know how, but he's still going. And a neck breaker. Come on, Mars, you're gonna have to put him away. Cause even you, I don't even think, can survive this much punishment. He's going towards the top. Oh, he got him. He's got him pinned. Two, three. Daniel Mars has done it. Oh my god, look at that replay. That is freaking sweet. And he's celebrating and oh no. What the hell is this? This this J Crack, he's back! Oh shit! Blindsided from behind and now taking out Suicide Dan. Oh, this is despicable. I should have known. But he caught me off guard just the same way as he got. Daniel Mars, oh, and there's Sonny Koufax, and I think we all know what's next. I, I can't watch. Go! Oh, it sounded so horrible. God, I can't wait for anarchy rules. I can't wait for this to end.